Welcome to Comcast High School Sports on Demand, powered by MaxPreps.com. I'm Ralph Nickerson. The Lady Chargers of Clear Springs are coming off one of the best seasons in the short history of the school. They went 38-3 and a perfect 12-0 in district. After a very challenging regional run, the Lady Chargers earned the right to go to state. I felt like our hard work finally paid off, and it was great. I really enjoyed going to Austin, and it's a great opportunity. And at least we lost to a team that won, so. It wasn't easy. To get to Austin, they had to go through some of the toughest teams in Texas. We got the hardest bracket foul out of everybody, and I don't know, it prepared us better for the Final Four, but I like playing all the, all the intense, close games. Compared to district, it was a lot of fun. Senior Courtney Latham is a four-year starter at Clear Springs. She says she's enjoyed her time with the Lady Chargers, but now she's ready to move on to the next phase of her life and her game, college. Courtney is heading to New Orleans to become a member of the Green Wave, Tulane University. Well, uh, Coach Dosha Woods, she had been recruiting me since like eighth grade or something, and then we happened to see a letter from them. We're like, oh, let's go check it out. And then we ended up liking it a lot, and the coaches are great, and the team's great, so. I definitely didn't want to go really far. I didn't want to be too close, so that was perfect away. She says she's not concerned about the distractions that come with going to school in a city that never slows down. Well, I'm pretty focused, so I don't think it'll change that much, so. I enjoyed it, the campus is beautiful, and you can have fun and then have your be occupied with basketball anyway, so. At Springs, Courtney played every position on the floor, often guarding the other team's best post player. She says at Tulane, she'll get a chance to play more at the top of the key. I think they're gonna let me play one, two, three. In, in there, combo guard. Yes, I'm so excited. I can get a guard to guard, finally. Yeah, I always had to guard the post, and then played a five out offense, so that was all right, but. I'm excited to get to feed the post some. Well, I think they're getting a really great guard. She, to me, Courtney's underrated, and she's been underrated since we were here, but she came out this year and showed everybody what she was about, so I think Tulane's getting a good addition to their team. Courtney says she's been working hard on her outside shot. She believes people are going to be shocked when they see her range. She, she can shoot, what? <laughs> and when a shot drops, her competition is going to hear about it. Oh, Courtney trash talk. She loves to trash talk. <laughs> She's like, you see that shot? <laughs> Courtney is a true student athlete. Success off the court is more important to her than on. She's in a medical program here at Clear Springs and is planning to continue that field of study at Tulane, but with a little twist. I, I want to do something medical, so I'm thinking a business track with business, major in business with a pre-med track what? to go to medical school. She plans on combining the two so she can have more options after college. But being a doctor is her goal. She's already working on her bedside manner. She always has the corny, her and I are the ones on the team that always have the corny jokes, the corny pickup lines. We say really corny stuff to people while we're on the court. She likes to tell jokes. So she's very corny when it comes to jokes, but she's one that you can always count on. Courtney gets her love for the game from her father. She says he was her first coach and helped her to get to where she is today. My dad's coached me all the way up, so give him a little bit of the credit. According to Courtney, coaching from her dad as well as spending four years at Clear Springs, learning from Coach Pam Crawford has prepared her for college basketball. Um, different ball handling drills, skin your handles better, shooting, um, like defense with pressure on you, like and we break the traps and I think all the different things I've picked up help me develop. She says playing in the Houston area has given her a chance to go head to head with some of the top girls in the country. Well yeah, it's built up my confidence. I've played with a lot of people that go to A&M, um, played against people that are UConn and played against them, not with, but um, I think it's made me stronger and see how fast pace it's gone and Definitely think it's raised my confidence for going into college. With her senior year coming to a close, Courtney believes she's not only prepared to move on, she's also ready, but there is no time for senioritis. And I want it to set in, but this last nine weeks have everything in it. 
and I'm, I'm in a medical class, so we go to the hospital twice a week. So you have to do all your work for that class. Then my English class, we still have a 15-page paper. And on top of all of that, she's playing in several All-Star games. Good luck in the future, and congrats on an outstanding high school career. I'm Raph Nickerson, and thanks for watching Comcast High School Sports on Demand, powered by MaxPreps.com.